I don't care what anyone thinks of me. I hear this many a time. I may have used it myself a few times here and there. We don't care, really? Hearing the statement from myself over and over made me say, thou protesteth too much, Leah. I suspect that for a fair few of us, we do care to some extent what people think. That's why we feel the need to state it out over and over again. So it's a bit like me waking up in the morning and stating, born a woman. It's a fact. It needs no restating. Who am I trying to convince anyway? I've observed that this statement is only ever used when what we think people are saying about us is of negative connotation. I am yet to hear or use this statement myself when something that is said of me by the people I was thinking was positive. Oh, that Leah, she's so amazing. Hmm, I don't care what people are saying about me. Really? I suspect we do care what people think and that is really actually okay. What I'm saying here is merely pointing out that we need to free ourselves from the inner conflict of I shouldn't care but I do. The key is not to dwell in it. Our truth should lie in seeing it for what it is and accepting that what people think or say is none of our business. Then if it's none of our business, then there is nothing that we can do or say to change it. So make pace, move on in the matter. It's the only thing that we can do. So what they think or say about you is painful. Recognize and release. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. You see, there is only one opinion that matters, that is solid and it never changes. And this is what he says. He says, I have crowned you with glory and honor as the pinnacle and the final act of my creation.